during the Taliban regime, there were 900,000 students going to school with 0% female students and 0% of women in the workforce. Afghanistan has a strong male-dominated culture and it's put a lot of obstacles in front of women. Women cannot compete in the workforce and women are lacking the very first human rights, which is education. We opened the first coding school for girls in Afghanistan on November 2015 in Herat, which is a city in west of Afghanistan. It's an after-school program where we are offering coding classes to 80 female students at this moment. We mainly focus on front-end development and website designs, and also mobile app development, gaming and graphics and designs. So if there is very few opportunities for girls to work locally, they can find jobs online and get paid online and be financially independent. Just one year after the fall of Taliban, I was one of the very first female mentors who was teaching Java programming. And I faced a lot of backlash from male students that they didn't want to come and join my class because they didn't want to learn from a woman how to uh, learn Java programming. There are definitely a lot of positive changes. We do have a lot of inspiring and good stories coming from the young generation. We want to show the world that we are working towards having a peaceful Afghanistan and a bright Afghanistan.